Okay, so I'm gonna work on week one's algebra review and 7.2's application and extension. Okay, so starting with the algebra review, looking at the first problem that says solve negative three is greater than k plus three divided by three. Okay, you're gonna start by multiplying both sides by three. So we get negative nine is greater than k plus three. Okay, next step is you're gonna subtract three from both sides. So you get negative 12 is greater than k, and that is your answer for the first one. Okay, moving on to question number two. Okay, question number two, we have negative six times the quantity of two n plus eight is less than or equal to negative 108. First step, we are going to divide each side by negative six. So we have two n plus eight, we divide it by a negative number, so we need to flip our sign. The greater than or equal to, and then 108 divided by six is 18. From here, we're gonna subtract eight from both sides. And we get 2n is greater than or equal to 10 divide each side by 2 and we get n is greater than or equal to 5 Okay, third problem. We get the factor x squared plus 8x plus 16. So we want two numbers that multiply to get 16 and add or subtract to get 8. So that's going to be x plus 4 and x plus 4. Okay, next problem is another factoring. We have 2x squared minus 3x minus 35. We need our two parentheses, 2x in one of them, x in the other. So now we need to multiply to get 35, or 35 times 2, 70, and add or subtract to get 3. So we get 
So we are going to use seven and five. Okay, next one is a graphing. Seven X plus three Y is equal to 15. We wanted to get it into Y equals MX plus B form. So we're gonna subtract seven X from both sides. So we get 3y is equal to negative 7x plus 15. Then we're going to divide everything by 3. And we get y is equal to negative seven thirds x plus five. So we're gonna start at five on the y-axis, go down seven to the right three. Start at five on the y-axis. We're gonna go down seven to the right three. And connect our points. Okay, next one's another graphic. time we have 4x plus 3y is equal to 6. So we're going to subtract 4x from both sides. So you get 3y is equal to negative 4x plus 6. Then we're going to divide everything by 3. So we have y is equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 2. So we're going to start at 2. On the y-axis, we're going to go down 4 to the right 3. So start at 2 on the y-axis, go down 4 to the right 3. And then we can do that again, down 4 to the right 3. And connect our points. That's the algebra review. So now we're moving on to the application and extension problems. Okay, directions find the missing side. So we have our first triangle.
that's for number one. And I'm going to do this one by similar triangles, which means I'm going to draw a smaller triangle next to it. The side across from 60 is the square root of 3. Small side is 1. Other side is 2. Root of 6. Square root of 3. Over the square root of 3. Blue triangle to black triangle it is going to be the same as y over 1, square root of 3 over square root of 3 become 1, so we get y is equal to 6. Let me do the same thing for the other side. We start with our 6 square root of 3 over the square root of 3 again. And this time we have x over 2. Again, the square root of 3 over square root of 3 cancel each other. And then we cross multiply. So 6 times 2 is 12, so 12 equals x. That's number 1. Okay, number 2, I'm going to use the shortcut. That's our problem. You always want to get the smallest side first, so that's my y. So I need to start by dividing by 2. So 2 square root of 2 divided by 2 is equal to y. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the square root of 2 is equal to y. Now we need to find x. So we're going to multiply by the square root of 3. So we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 is going to equal x. So the square root of 6 is equal to x. And that's number two. Okay, number three. Below is an equilateral triangle that has side lengths of ten.
So this is what they give us. When the segment is drawn from the vertex to the center of the circle, it forms three congruent triangles. The bottom two triangles are formed when the center vertex is bisected, also bisecting the opposite side. Label the angles of the two new triangles. Okay, so because ooh, this one's 120 and they make a straight line, this one's going to be 60. Three, 60, 60, bottom two are 90, making the other ones 30. Find the side lengths of these two nearly formed triangles and label them. So we know the bottom length of one of our little triangles is five. So I'm gonna redraw that little triangle for us. So I redrew this triangle here, down here, down here. And that's what we're gonna solve. We're gonna solve for X and Y. We're gonna do it like I did the second one. So to get the smaller side first, we need to divide by the square root of 3. So we have 5 divided by the square root of 3 is equal to x. So we need to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 3. So we get 5 radical 3 over radical 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So we have 5 radical 3 over 3 is x. I need to find y, so we're going to multiply by 2. So I'm going to do 5 radical 3 divided by 3 times 2 is equal to y. So that's 10 radical 3 over 3 is y. And that's number 3. Okay, number four. So after reading the safety manual for his ladder, he knows that the angle formed between the ladder and the ground needs to be at 60 degrees. So we start by drawing a triangle. Thank you. 
you know that we have the ladder and the ground. So the angle formed between the ladder and the ground needs to be at 60 degrees. So that's the one between them. So this one. He knows that his ladder is 25 feet long. They want to know how high off the ground can he climb safely. So we're trying to find that, the height. Okay, if we do it by the shortcut method, we need to find the ground length first. And to do that, we need to divide by two. We'll call that G for ground. So we have 25 divided by two is equal to the ground. And next we need to multiply by the square root of three. Twenty-five divided by two times the square root of three and equal our x. So twenty-five square root of three divided by two is equal to x. And when he did his word problems, he simplified it. So if we do that, we find that x is equal to 21.651 feet. And that's week one's algebra review, application, and extension.